All right, we have Cryptorhythm 21. What that here? So we can begin by writing out our digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. In this problem, we don't have any extra digit being carried to the 10,000th place or an extra place value. So it's kind of different than what we have been doing before. Based off of observing our problem, we can see, we can notice multiple patterns. First, when we look in the ones place, we see that t plus t equals e. This must tell us that e is a even number. So e could be 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And then when we look at the hundreds place, we see that h plus h also gives us this even number. And this means that a 1 can't get carried into the hundreds place because e has to be even always. Now we can write 0 is being carried to the hundreds place. What are the corresponding values of t when e is all of these values? When e equals 0, t can't be 0, so t can be 5. When e is 2, t can be 1 or 6. When, t, when e is 4, t can be 2 or 7. When e is 6, t can be 3 or 8. And when t equal, and when e equals 8, t can be 4 or 9. When we look in the thousands place, we see that w and t, neither of them can be 9, which means that t can't be 9 in this case. So then e, its corresponding value, can't be 8. And we can start off by looking at e equals 0. If e equals 0, then t would be 5. But then we don't have any values for h. So then this possibility does not work out. If e equals 2, t would be 1. And we can say that e h is 6. So this would mean we carry a 1 to the thousands place. And then w would have to be 0. But since w is the leftmost digit in the number what, w can't be 0. So this situation wouldn't work out. But now we don't have to only look at t anymore. t and h can be interchangeable. So if we still have e equals 2, now we can make t equal to 6 and h equal to 1. But this still wouldn't work out because in the thousands place, we have no values for w or t. Now what if we had e equals 4? If e equals 4, we can first say that t equals 2 and h equals 7. This means that e, again, here is a 4, and w would be a 4 also. But this wouldn't work out because w and e can't be 4 at the same time. And now we can switch the order of h and t. So e is still 4, but now h is 2, and e is 4. t is 7. This wouldn't work out because in the thousands place, we have no possible value for w. Based off of our previous experiments, we have seen that h always has to be greater than t, which means that when we do e equals 6, we can just make h the bigger value, which is 8, and t can be 3. In this case, w would be a 4, and nothing would be carried to the tens place. We can cross out the digits we've already used. We've already used 8, 6, 4, and 3. So the only even numbers left for r is either a 0 or a 2. But since we can't carry anything into the hundreds place, r can only be a 2 and a can be 1. And so this is our solution, guys. w equals 4, h equals 8, a equals 1, t equals 3, e equals 6, and r equals 2. Let's do problem 22. Bum plus bum plus bum equals dud. Looking at this problem, it seems like we will have to be doing a lot of thinking on the multiples of 3. We can start by writing out our digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's first think about what are the results when each of these digits are multiplied by 3. If we have 0 times 3, we get 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18, 7 times 3 is 21, 8 times 3 is 24, and 9 times 3 is 27. In the hundreds place and the ones place, we see that 3 times m gives us d, 
and 3 times b also gives us d. This must mean that something was carried to the hundreds place. In this case, it can be either 1 or 2 because we can carry a maximum of 2. And you might ask, how do we know for sure we have to carry something to the hundreds place? These two d's are equal. But when we look in the ones place of every single one of these products, none of them are the same. It's either a 3 or a 6 or a 9 or a 2 or a 5 or 8 or a 1 or 4 or 7. They're all different, which means something must, must have to get carried to the hundreds place in order to make 3 times b equal to 3 times m. And as you can see, we have a 3-digit number times 3, which still give us a 3-digit number, which means we didn't need to carry anything to the thousands place, the next place over. This must mean that b times 3 gives us a one-digit product. So b could either be 1, 2, or 3. But b couldn't be 3 because if b was 3, 3 times 3 would give us 9. 9 plus 1 gives us a two-digit number. 9 plus 2 also gives us a two-digit number. We don't want the final result to be a two-digit number. So b only has two possibilities. One is b equals 1 and the other is b equals 2. If b equals 1, 3 times 1 gives us 3, and let's say that a 1 is carried. 3 plus 1 gives us 4, so d would equal 4. And now what if we had b equals 1 still, except now we are carrying a 2 to the hundreds place. In this case, it would be b times 3, which gives us 3. 3 plus 2, our carry digit, which is 5. So D equals 5. Now what if B equal 2? 2 times 3 gives us 6, plus a carried 1 gives us 7. So D would equal 7. And if we carried a 2 to the hundreds place, D would be 8. And M would also have corresponding values. So if D equaled 4, M, when we look at our chart over here, we would see that M would equal 8. When D equals 5, m will have to equal 5. When d equals 7, m will equal 9. And when d equals 8, m will equal 6. We can already cross out this second possibility because d and m cannot be 5 at the same time. So now we only have three options to do trial and error with. Let's start off with option number 1. b equals 1 and d equals 4. This means that we have carried a 1 to the hundreds place and m equals 8. It also means that we carried a 2 to the tens place. So as you can see, 3 times u, u plus u plus u, must equal a two-digit number because we have to make that carried 1. u times 3 would have to equal a two-digit number, so it's either from 4 up to 6. Again, u cannot be 4 because 4 is already taken by d, and if we do u equals 5, 3 times 5 gives us 15. 15 plus 2 gives us 17. This u would be a 7. This wouldn't work out. Now what if we had u equals 6? 3 times 6 gives us 18. 18 plus 2 gives us 0. And we would carry a 2. That wouldn't work out. So this possibility is not the answer. Now what if b equals 2, d equals 7, a 1 is carried to the hundreds place, and m equals 9. a2 is carried to the tens place. If u equals 4, 3 times 4 gives us 12. 12 plus 2 gives us 14. So this would work out. We can write u equals 4. Now what if we had b equals 2 and d equals 8? b equals 2 and d equals 8 and m equals 6. What would u be? u times 3 must equal a two-digit number with 2 in the tens place. So u could be 7, 8, or 9. It can't be 8. 8 is already taken. So what if u equals 7? 3 times 7 gives us 21. 21 plus 1 gives us 22. u cannot be 2 and 7 at the same time. What if u equals 9? 3 times 9 gives us 27. 27 plus 1 gives us 28. U can't be 8 and 9 at the same time. This leaves us with only one possibility, possibility, which is B equals 2, D equals 7, M equals 9, U equals 4. This is problem 23. 
seem mean teams. Right off the bat, we see that t must equal 1. So let's write out our digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we can cross that one off. So t equals 1. We see that e plus e gives us a. e definitely could not be a 0, right? Because if e plus e gives us is 0, then a will also have to be 0. And if there's a carried digit, which is a carried 1, a would have to be 1. a and t cannot be 1 at the same time. So no matter what, e cannot be 0. And since 1 is already taken by t, e also cannot be 1. So e can be any digit, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So what would happen if t e equals 2? Then a would be 4, and m would be 6. As you can see, this wouldn't work out because we wouldn't know what s could be. s can't be 6 because m is already 6. So what if e equals 2? Again, a equals 4, and this time m is 7 because we've carried a 1 here. So s would be 5, right? And then the only value we have left for n is 8. So let's go ahead and write that down. If e equals 2, s equals 5, e equals 2, m equals 7, a equals 4, n equals 8. Now what if e equals 3? a would equal 6, and m would be 9. s equals 4, n would be 5, and we would have to carry a 1 here. But then the tens place wouldn't work out. Now what if we had e equals 3 and a equals 7? m would be a 0, but again, m can't be 0 because here, m is the leftmost digit of the number mean. It means that this possibility wouldn't work out. What if e equals 4? a would equal 8, and this wouldn't work out because here, we're not carrying a 0. But when you look at the tens place, we would have to carry e something. So then this is controversial. What if we have e equals 4, a equals 9. Now this works out. So m would be 3, and s would also have to be 9. s and a can't be 9 at the same time. What if e equals 5? If e equals 5, a would be 0. m would also have to be 5. But m and e can't be 5 at the same time. Now what if e equals 6? a would equal 2. A 1 would be carried and m would be 8, s would be 7. Again, we can't carry a 1 to the tens place here, so this wouldn't work out. What if e equals 7? If e equals 7, then a would be 4. Still, we can't, we can't carry a 1 here. So instead of saying a equals 4, we can say a equals 5. Now we can carry a 1 to the hundreds place, m equals 2. But now we can see something that's going on in the thousands place. Something plus 2 gives us 17. We don't have any values for that at all. So e can't be 7. What if e equals 8? If e equals 8, remember we would have to make a a 7 and carry a 1. Still, we don't have any values for s. And it's going to be the same thing if we had e equals 9. We wouldn't have any values for s. So this leaves us with only one solution, which is t equals 1, e equals 2, s equals 5, m equals 7, a equals 4, and n equals 8. This is problem 24. Old plus old plus old equals good. Here we have three add-ins being added together. So we can begin by writing out our digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And g can either be a 1 or a 2. This is based off of the max you can carry when you're adding three numbers together. And D can either be 0 or 5. This means that we can either carry a 0 or a 1 to the tens place. We see that L times 3 gives us O. And then O times 3 also gives us a two-digit number that ends in O. So for the hundreds place, we can carry 0 up to 2. That's the max. This means that O times 3 itself must have to already equal a two-digit number or something that is close to a two-digit number. So we have 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 
24, or 27. They are all two-digit numbers or numbers that are close to two-digit numbers. So what if O equals 3? If O equals 3, 3 times 3 gives us 9. 9 plus 1 would give us 10. This wouldn't work out. What if we had 9 plus 2? That would give us 11. That also wouldn't work out. So O can't be 3. What if O was 4? 4 times 3 gives us 12. 12 plus 1 gives us 13. 12 plus 2 gives us 14. So this could work out. Let's keep going. So then O would be 4. Then L times something must give us a number that equals 24. So L would be 8. And there would be nothing carried to the tens place. So this means that O, that D is 0. So we have 480 times 3, which gives us 1,440. A very possible situation. I'll just write 480 times 3 gives us 1440 to keep track. Now, what if we have O equals 5? If O equals 5, 5 times 5 gives us 15. Then we would have to carry a 1 to the tenths place. And again, L would have to be 8. But then we can't carry anything to the hundreds place. We don't want to carry anything to the hundreds place. So this wouldn't work out. What if O equals 6? 3 times 6 gives us 18. 18 plus 1 gives us 19. 18 plus 2 gives us 20. In none of these cases will let us have a O equals 6 in the, res in the product. So this wouldn't work out. What if we had O equals 7? 7 times 3 gives us 21. 21 plus 1 gives us 22. 21 plus 2 gives us 23. None of this works out. What if we have O equals 8? 3 times 8 gives us 24. 24 plus 1 gives us 25. 24 plus 2 gives us 26. What if O equals 9? 9 times 3 gives us 27. 27 plus 1 gives us 28. 27 plus 2 gives us 29. So this also might work out. So now we know that O equals 9. What times 3 gives us 29? Or... If we have a carry digit, what times 3 gives us 28? As you can see, 29 and 28, neither of them are divisible by 3, which means that this was very close, but O can't be 9. So this gives us one solution left, which is O equals 4, L equals 8, D equals 0, G equals 1, and that is our solution. Here's our 26th problem of this series. Weight all gifts. Here we have a four-digit number plus a three-digit number, which gives us a five-digit number. Since there are only two numbers being added, we can see that G must be one. Again, we can write out our digits. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we could cross out that one. So if G equals 1, then W will have to be 9, right? G equals 1, and W will have to equal 9. And we know that we can only carry a maximum of 1 since we're only adding together two numbers. So if W is 9, then 9 plus this carry digit, which is a 1, must be 10. I is 0. And... In the tens and ones column, we see something interesting. T plus L equals S. And then in the tens column, something plus L equals T. Again, here, if we adjust like a zero plus L equals T, that wouldn't make any sense, which means that they must have carried a one here. Clearly, we can see that T is equal to L plus one. So T is one more than L. And remember, T plus L has to equal a two-digit number. So we could do 9 plus 8 to give us 17. But since 9 is already taken by W, we have to start from 8 plus 7, which gives us 15. And 1 plus 7 equals 8. That does make sense. So T could equal 8, and L could equal 7, and S could equal 5. Now... What if we had 7 plus 6? 
7 plus 6. Well, then what would A be? Remember, we have to carry a 1 to the hunt, to the thousands place. A, when we start from the biggest number, 8 can be 8. 8 plus 8 gives us 16, but F cannot be 6. And again, we have to skip over 7 and 6 for A, since they're already taken. And what if we have A equals 5? 5 plus 5 equals 10. And that wouldn't work out because 0 is already taken by I. And if we went down even more to do 4 plus 4, this wouldn't work because 4 plus 4 does not equal a two-digit number, which means that T and L cannot be 7 and 6. So now, if it can't be 7 and 6, can T and L be 6 and 5? 6 and 5. Well, that wouldn't work out because then S would have to be 1, and 1 is already taken by G. Then can we do 5 plus 4? 5 plus 4 gives us 9, and that is not enough because 9 is not a two-digit number. So we can go back to our original answer, which is T equals 8 and L equals 7. 8 plus 7 gives us 15. We can carry that 1 to do 1 plus 7 equals 8. Then A could be 6 plus 6, which gives us 12. So our answer would be G equals 1, W equals 9, T equals 8, L equals 7, I equals 0, and A equals 6, and F equals 2. That is our solution.